are all things made out of water. Can we be certain the external world exists at all? And why did she block me? Today, we're gonna to answer all of these questions and more because this is an educational video about philosophy and being philosophical. And now we're gonna answer those three questions. But before we can answer those questions, we have to ask ourselves another question. Not only what is philosophy, but why is philosophy? To do this, I like to use something called the golden rule. The golden rule is a really great tool to use when doing philosophy. I use it, Zachary uses it, Mr. Aldridge, I forgot his name for a second, probably uses it. It's a really helpful thing. It's great, you can use it in all aspects of your life, not just philosophy. And it really helps to just clear things up and think things through in a really, you know, good manner. Right, so now we're all using the golden rule, we can advance the next step. A long, long time ago, in a place far, far away, lived a group of pretty smart people thinking some pretty smart things. These people were of course known as the ancient Greeks. The screw, maps, and even sex, hundreds of years before the Romans decided to add women, were all Greek inventions. However, not all of them were as intelligent as the smart ones which is, you know, understandable because they were pretty smart, but that's why they're known as the smart ones. You can't have a smart person without some idiots to like mix and match, otherwise everyone's just normal. Like, it just makes Over 520 years ago, lived a group of people known as the Malaysians in ancient Greece. The Malaysians were led by three people in particular. Thales, Anaximander, and Anaximenides. I'm sure those names mean something in Greek, however they just sound a bit stupid in English. What they believed their, like, grand theory was, was that the air around us was all made out of the same thing, known as nous, or the mind, or intelligence, stuff like that, it all sounds a bit hippie. Now, I can't disprove that, because I can't be asked, and it sounds quite hard, but what they also believed was that matter was made out of the same thing wherever you went. A bit like atoms, which is actually pretty smart, but what they believed was quite stupid, that it was all water. I forget the actual Greek name for it, because I only did about three minutes of research and I can't be asked to go and check, but it was probably something quite long and hard to learn. But, since I'm such a philosophical fellow, I have decided to put together a very scientific experiment to try and prove this, or disprove it. Before me and you, I have a jug. It's a very nice jug, it's pretty normal looking. This isn't magic, what I'm about to do, although some of you will be quite impressed. Probably only me, because I find me funny, I'll be the only one laughing. Anyway, it's actually quite sad, isn't it? Oh well. I've got some water here, and if what they believed is correct, when I pour this water into this jug, since it's all made out of the same base stuff, i.e. water, then the cup shall also flow. Which is kind of weird, and kind of, kind of goofy. But anyway, here goes nothing. I've taken this shot way too many times. I just want it to be done with. I almost swore there. Oh look, nothing happened. Oh dear, I guess they were all wrong. What a bunch of idiots. Now, a lot of philosophers have their moment of revelation doing something deep, like looking at the stars, losing a loved one, getting into the bath, something like that. However, I can only assume that these people were all simultaneously kicked in the head by a donkey. Okay, now that we've established that the world is not in fact made out of water, and that the people that are opposed to it, perhaps the most influential philosophers of all time, were a bunch of muppets, we can now move on to the second point. I will be discussing Mr. Barclay. Who is Mr. Barclay? You already know, because you probably did your video on him as well, because it's a minimal amount of work. However, I don't know that much about Barclay. So instead, I'm going to be texting someone who knows far more about him than I do. My super hot girlfriend from Surrey. She goes to a different school, but she's definitely real, I swear to you guys. She's got a PhD in philosophy and won Miss East Finchley twice, which is pretty hard because she lives in Surrey. She just makes an effort like that.
<laughs> sorry, so sorry. That was Barkley. Um, really, really cool guy. And um, that that's that, that that's that's our idealism. And um, so he said that like, like, <laughs> that like the world is, it wasn't it wasn't like, real or anything. Which means that if the world isn't real, then, then she's not real, and it's all in my mind. And if there's a god out there who's like control this, he's, he's a, and yeah, the god is just he's gonna, he's gonna do 